been in the salon about three weeks and we decided it would be a nice idea to have a get together, drinks and something to eat on the Sunday afternoon to thank everybody who was involved in the move. So the tradies, the builder, the designer, most importantly our team and their families and our families and we thought it'd be nice to say thank you for everything they've done to help us move. So we're feeling really comfortable in our new home and um, a lot of our clients have come through already. Um, our existing clients and they're loving the new space and we're loving our new space and now we're starting to see some new faces. Some people from Lonsdale Street that have come to try us and have their hair done and some people from Lonsdale Street that are already our clients who have um, come in to have their hair done in the new salon as well. I'd like to say thank you to everyone for being here today. Either building it, helping us get here, the staff of course, and our friends and family who uh, maybe put up with us when we're tired and a little bit grumpy. So, thanks everyone. It's pretty spectacular and um, we're pretty proud to say that we made it and uh, to continue on access from here. So, if I can propose a toast to another 20 years of that. Now that we've settled into the new space and everybody's working well and everything's fine, Johnny really needed a holiday. So off Johnny goes to Hawaii and leaves Adam and I here to hold the fort. And he's enjoying himself, I'm sure, on the beach of Waikiki, even though he doesn't really do beaches, but anyway. You wanna know about my holiday? i tell you about my holiday. <laughs> i tell you it was a good holiday because I needed to have a holiday. From Hawaii, beautiful sunny Hawaii, having a beautiful day on the beach, looking forward to the swim, and you guys are missing out. Bad luck. Uh, Hawaii, Waikiki Beach, uh, the last uh, three times in the last five years. It's a great place to get away. Yes, just had our morning coffee at the Honolulu Coffee Shop. Fantastic. Missing out, guys. I needed to get away, you know, uh, coming into the new shop, uh, trying to lease the old shop, uh, just uh, took it, 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 took, it was pretty hard on me. Late afternoon in Hawaii, having a good time, while you guys are working, working very hard so I can have a good time. Aloha! Talking a little bit of water sports, missing out, love Hawaii, welcome to Hawaii and water sports. So our next door neighbour Katrina from Pink Ink came in today to have her hair done. Uh, she was really nervous. Um, she's had a few experiences with the hairdressers where they cut too much of her hair off and she loves her hair long. So it took a little bit of uh, convincing but I finally convinced her to come in and hopefully she loves her hair after I've done it. So uh, I uh, met Katrina when we first moved to Braddon. Um, I noticed her because she has really, really long hair and um, I hadn't been formally introduced to her, but I sort of said hi a couple of times just walking past the shop. So I've actually got the chance to cut her hair. She hasn't had a haircut in a few years. She's um, said that she's got a hairdresser phobia because she goes and asks for a trim and sometimes she gets a little trim and sometimes they cut off a lot and she likes her hair really long. So. I convinced her to come in and have a haircut with me to try and make her fall in love with the long hair again and get some trust uh, between her and her hairdresser again.
So the challenge with uh, Katrina, like a lot of the girls who come and see me, is they love their long hair and I love long hair as well. So um, the challenge is to create shape and, and give a change in a long hairstyle, but obviously still keeping it long. So um, I think I've done that and I'm pretty sure uh, Katrina's happy and I'll look forward to doing it again soon. Sean from 86 is probably somewhat flamboyant, I think it's fair to say. He uh, is a very busy guy. He runs one of the coolest restaurants in Canberra at the moment and he needs his haircut, you know, at no notice at all. So he um, sent me a text message at like seven o'clock this morning. Uh, Adam, can I cut, can you cut my hair for me? I'm like, yeah, sure, see you at nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock, Sean's not here, I don't know where he is. So I strolled around to 86 to see what's going on with Sean. He's pulling his hair out. He's not even answering the phone. I had to answer the phone and make a reservation. Fuck me. Shawnee drama. <laughs> what happened? Hi. Coffee? Oh, you've got a question today. You don't know how to do it. 86 Brad and Adam speaking. Let me just check for you. Hold on, please. When's it for? Thursday night. Make sure you get a phone number, yeah? And you can tell you guys write more than me because my writing's like a bloody doctor. Who has to write these days? Everyone types. We had, we had like something that was a cancer and if we let it gestate then it could have become detrimental to the business. Like, bad egg. It's all good. So when you're coming in for a cut, obviously you didn't come this morning. Why don't you return my SMS? I don't return, I don't text message. I'll lock away from now on. If I here's this a, one, you're going to have to play Here's me. a free lesson. <laughs> 86 in Brad and Sean, that you call the restaurant, you get a quicker response out of me. <laughs> Joe from Italian and Sons has been a client of Johnny's for a long time and he had to wait a couple of weeks longer than usual to get his hair cut because of Johnny's holiday. And the first day Johnny's back, Joe's in, Johnny's all happy, relaxed, he's got a tanned head and Joe's relieved to be coming to get his hair cut. I've been up hairdressing now and I'm going to go and work at an Italian son to be a waiter. Good. You could do Johnny always has a tanned head when he comes back from Hawaii. Bria from LKMP has been on the Braddon scene for a long time. She also owns Knightsbridge and she also owns Parlour Wine Room down at Acton. And Parlour burnt down a little while ago and they're finally reopening it and she's in this mad panic and she called us and said, is there any chance I can get my hair done for this opening? And of course we said yes, we'd love to help and so in she came to get her hair done before the reopening of Parlour. She has a really nice natural wave in hair. One of the things about Breeri is she's a wash and wear person. She doesn't like colour in her hair, minimalistic sort of look. Um, so I gave her a really nice cute haircut just working with the natural wave in her hair. Nothing too elaborate, nice, simple and I think it was really effective. She looked really good. Why me and Johnny sit the same? Is it a genetic thing or? Why well, sit the same? It like, must be some sort of genetic I'm looking there and if I put my head over I think it's me. How good is that? Mm -hmm. That's a good shot. Mm -hmm. Are we rolling, Jimmy? Yeah. Can we Is sit? Can you can you sit a bit closer, like we actually like one another? Can you relax? No, not on top of me. Can you relax? Please? Not on top. Oh, good. Yeah. Relax. Give me some right. space. So, Give me some space. Space. You two are sitting on top of me. Selfie. Come on, Johnny. Look. Johnny. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks, guys, for watching this show. Thanks to my staff. Thank you to the most important part of our salon, which is our clients, clients. who've yeah. been watching it. You're touching me again. I mean, I don't take myself too serious. Oh, I don't know no. you. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> serious? 
You're the most serious one. No, here. in seri in all Not seriousness. <laughs> thank you everyone who's watched Tease and enjoyed it. And yes, a big thank you to our team who have been involved and been really patient with us while we've done all of this. And yes, thank you to the most important people of all, our lovely and loyal Axis clients. I'm not an actor and it's very hard for me to sit in front of the camera yeah, looking yeah. at you. Very difficult, isn't very it? Very difficult. It's, yeah, you're, you're not a natural at all. Speak no. for yourself. All the best. Cheers. See you later. Oh, my back. Thank you. That really isn't designed for 300 kilos. Uh -huh.